So in this video, we are going to learn about React events. Now, React events are written in camel case syntax. So we we'll write on click in camel case instead of on click like this. So React event handlers are written inside curly braces or curly brackets. So we have on click shoot instead of on click shoot. Now this is adding an event listener using the HTML event and this one is adding an event listener using the JavaScript method so please take note of the difference so now let's see how we can add a react event in the JSX and you find it very very easy we don't have to target anything at all so in the last video, we wanted to pass in a function from the app component, which is this. So let me clear this. So this is a show price function and the show price here. So I've already accepted it, I think. Yes, I've already accepted it in the car, but to now add it to this, so that if I click on this, it should show me that result. I'm going to put it here. Now, why we are having an error here, here is because before React will finish mounting this component, this function will start to run and at, and at that point this guy here is undefined so to solve that issue you are going to put it inside of a use effect which is a hook but we've not learned that so let's continue with the click event so on click so if i pass it sh show price now at this point at this point before it will render this page everything is is set so it will not show that error again so you see i have the show price and i have show price here so if i click this i'll have price only 200 i click this now you see that the function is not here so it's showing an error so let me see so it's not showing an error so what of if we can make it so that if the show price method was not passed it should not even show the button at all so we've done something similar before so let's do that so i'm going to going to cut this out control x then enter my javascript environment then i wanna type show price if it is true conditional rendering now and i want to paste this so only when the show price was passed that it will run this function or it will show the button and and run the functions so you see it's no longer here again so if i press now you see so the user will not see this view price here then this method of calling a function is not always the best so let me show you an example so let's say i want to call an an alert inside here and i put hello world so if I save, you notice even before I click the function, you see the the alert has shown. But if I want to stop that behavior, I can write it in another format, which is a better format that we'll be using. Control X. I'll put 
put my anonymous function then I'll paste that so you notice if I save this now I'll go back to my browser but I, I it didn't have to show on its own it's only when I click here that it show me a lot hello world I click again hello world so that is a similar thing that we need to do with our show show price so I will not invoke it so if I save that everything will be working as before so you see price only this so we, we have so many event listeners as you recall from our JavaScript class, we have the click, we have the mouse enter, we have the submit, and we have the key for up and key down. So let's just try to do the mouse enter in this our in this our P1 here. So I put on mouse enter. I'll now put a function, remember my anonymous function, handle mouse enter. Now this, now this is just a convention. You, you put the handle to describe the work of, of the function that is handling a click event. So but if what you want to do is just a few lines of code just like that a lot you can put them inside here so you don't need to follow these steps but i just want to show you i can also do this too so function handle mouse enter so i'm going to put a lot so if I save this you see that show me hover I remember that the p tag is a block element so even though the text stop here it reaches here so once I cross this line there's a sensor so so, sensor in here, so, uh -huh. so that is it so we can add as many click events as possible so you note the you know the centers we can send a function as a prop and to show on another and uh, from another component we can pass a function as a prop from one component to another and we can also write our own custom component i mean our, our own function inside the javascript part of a of a component and use it within our component so that is it for adding event listing as well event with a uh, reality see how easy it is there's no document dot get this by id get it by class they begin to add event listeners so in real just call your event listener where you want it to be applied then if you want to use an external function to handle the, the click event, you create it like this. But if you just a simple line of code, you can just add it there. So that is for events. So in the next video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to style a component with CSS or SAS. So see you in the next video.